Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Doyen campaign. We pick things up for episode 19 from turn 89 in the spring season of 208. And as we left off halfway between the turn, um, we can take some proposals. And there's some nice ones. Um, well, campaign movement range, not so much. I want the income boost. Over here, resetting skill trees. We can probably reroll that on some people. Oh, rerolling his is actually quite good. Yeah, because I don't want any of the administrative stuff for him. Perceptive, he should be on top tier here. So, we'll take that. This is unfortunately broken. I don't know if this helps us. Hmm. Because the goal here is to get him to... Um, abdicate to us so making him strategically more threatening i don't think it's actually going to benefit us i'll take this one and i'll take this one let's go yeah this is definitely way better way better um, I mean, we're out of movement here. Because he has oh, the capture chance, oh, I might well, gotta cancel movement first and then make him lead. He also had perceptive, I believe. Right, so that's 35% more. And also three levels higher than Sun Ren. Alright, so that's settled. I think all the armies have actually moved, except for the two that could get, um, you know, full Imperial Army treatment. This army I need on the field quickly, so I'm going to give them that treatment first. I think we will settle for the infantry variant, just because of their superior range. It costs us 10k. Which we can afford, no big deal there. And everyone should be ready in one turn. Right, this is a mess. Everything is pretty much a mess. <laughs> we'll just have to get through it. Alright, so we got the reform for level 4 T, or uh, level 4 in, a T, well, it is T. And over here, that will be our main upgrade pretty much everywhere. We don't have a really good way of reducing corruption at this point. Small regional, get a new building slot here in Jianning. But because I don't think this place would be that much income focus, we're probably going to move the administrator once we get Changsha. Like, Shu is not that good in terms of income. It's already falling quite behind. Maybe this will be where we start reducing some of the corruption. Like, Jiangyang would border it, so it would benefit. Maybe we do this first. Get this going. Uh, not enough money. Army is too expensive. Someone in Tall Tall's faction. Could be an opening. We don't have the cash right now. I don't want to make the cash for it right now either, so... We're just going to temporarily ignore it. What if we lower it?
Hmm. I got hit with a reserve. I think I hit with a reserve scheme. No fix itself. Okay. Oh, that one's more of a, also a re, uh, also a reserve scheme. Hmm. Well, not scheme. Uh, faction council proposal thing. Well, we'll be okay. Let's continue. So, we have one army falling into our ambush, or fighting us. Doesn't feel like an am. I don't know. Is it an ambush fight? No. They must have failed. I think we can fight this fairly cleanly. They have some nice units here, but they're also suffering from the issue of not being able to replenish them very efficiently. Let's fight. Alrighty. They have some cavalry. Lots of supposed elite units. Not really elite. Uh, mess that up. There we go. Give us some space. Preferably, we don't let the enemy even shoot at us, but that's not always possible. Uh, Watch it out. There we go. Why can't we be hidden? There we go. die first. Oh, that's nice. Zero morale, get them fired, get some shots on them. a little bit there. Stop flipping her. Stab her. 
There we go. You guys should leave. We'll let the enemy form up a little bit. they do stop creeping up archers active now This should be okay. Town Cavalry's here. Oh, two people standing after that? Sure, some of them will get back up, but... Your wall. Oh, the impure units actually. Oh, friendly fire. He doesn't need any help. Say move. It's over. I think our friendly fire did the most damage. Alrighty. Those two had no resiliency, so they just straight up died. I think we'll release because we do want to get the abdication so relationship is important all right a new season a new group of proposals against us new weapon being crafted ah garlic garlic is very good you cannot give us enough garlic All right, let our arrows blot out the sun.
I don't think we'll, well more than expected. But with two garlic, we're actually replenishing quite nicely. Night battle on the armies. That's probably very important. Range damage also good. Hmm. Right. So at this point, since we have no other source of night battle, we do that. They have turned over here. Just gonna run back here to defend. They didn't fall for it. I bet they run. And now we try again with the ambush. They're ready to go. So instead of joining the party here, I think it's better if they... Oh, this is a very difficult path, it seems. But I still think it's better that they, yeah, they go face whoever is going to come to us this way. Konron. Sneaky. Alright, we wanted to make this army go down, this army, no, this army go up, this army go down. But right now it's not the time to do that swap. Uh, those are nice units, but uh, I guess we could. I mean, she's really old. But fine, we'll take her. We actually need generals. They ran farther than I thought. Because we can't heal, anyways. The road's right here. I think they don't have any land left. Oh, they do. Okay. We're gonna push up to here. They don't look that threatening. Ooh, the northern Captain Renews. Blocked by the river. Lady Wu? Look at those items. Capture her. Hmm. As an administrator, this would be better, but as an army officer right now. Do we have shaman in the faction? Anyone have shaman? No. Okay. Twenty-five percent chance, so not impossible. They summon a few new generals here. We'll night battle this. Uh, I don't think we need to fight it though, because decisive is as good as going to get. We really just want it for the capture. If a few units runs away, that's even better. Capture, capture. Ah, nope. We'll be releasing. 
Mm, hopefully she will come on the field again. Alright, Shamoko's last stand. We'll give them a fight. Ooh, Discourse of the State. I want that. Book of the Mountain and Sea. So many good stuff here. Let's get this into a decisive victory. Let's go. Alrighty, and clearly the Nama always get the it's always gonna rain against them buff. We can't burn the city effectively, but shouldn't make too much of a difference. We'll be assaulting from probably just this side, keep them in this narrow hallway, pound them with the siege weapons. <laughs> the elephants, like, we must stand in a strip. Um, they will not actually boost anything with the explosion damage from the stone, so it's not really gonna matter. But might as well play a good tune for the army. But since it is raining, we won't be using flaming shots against these. We'll just pound them with regular rocks. Always works. Both of them, please. Doors open, I'm guessing. Yep. 70%. One more volley, maybe. Good. I mean, we're rank 9. Hopefully, this will be quite accurate. Nope. Okay, we, we scratched it once. Need three more of those impact shots. We got two more. One more. That wall is cracking. It's a good side effect. There we go. On oh, that cracked. Okay. This is going to crack in one volley. Yeah, Naman range units are really low range, especially his. He doesn't have any of the fire archers, so we can use our archers to step them up and let them do damage after we take off all the walls. Alright, we've got a couple shots left. Given how crowded these guys are. Get a couple volleys down there. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire off the rest. I don't think I need to actually fight him. Yeah, just roar on him. Throw around him a couple times. He's gonna come back. I'm gonna go out real quick. You guys are done. Ah, Wulian fighters are general killers. Sideway. There we go. Crash into them. Chain route. Fire arrow should make things a little bit easier.
wait for some cooldowns. There we go. Getting attacked by cavalry, getting attacked by general, scare, plus fire nearby, plus a roar. That's how you end the unit's lives. You crush the morale. Hmm, silver weapon. I do want to fight him. Let me pull my distance. Elephant can give him a boost too. I can go a little bit farther. I'm gonna boost his evasion. Then reduce his. We have very little health, but I think we can beat him. Oh, they don't even charge up. Okay, light. Oh, that is mean. We lost 50% of our armor and 50% uh, of our melee evasion. So this boost is not even going to matter for the first 11 seconds. He in here, Macho. He in here. Alright, it's timed out. 45%, 80% armor. Gonna be close. Got him. And that should be a nice little heal for us. Yangfeng, wanna go? No? Move up. I mean, there's no more spear units. I can technically just... Oh, there's a couple in the back, but we can technically just charge our guys in. Man, they're walking slowly. Oh, getting shot by a uh, his bow. A couple of our elephants. You underestimate our boost. He also has the debuff, that's the problem. I can't shut him down. Zungbu doesn't have that move. Oh, I have this move. Ah, didn't get there in time. Gonna be another close one.
Get up here. He has a really bad weapon, so I'm not too concerned. How far are you? Oh, we got him. Rush him. Down his abilities. Cavalry, kill him. He's melting. It's over. There we go. Heroic victory. That should give us the best capture chance. Okay, we got Shamo Ke. We can only hope to get fondness from him. Yang Feng wants to work for us. Welcome. Fresh tamer, yet no animal. Like this is this is a no no here. We'll just release. And this should be faction destroyed. So now the entire Nanman faction falls onto Meng Huo. And we get to rest up a turn before we go towards any of these captured places. So since we do have this army coming down at them, it's better if we go for this instead. I think it's safer if we go through our own territory. Also gives us a turn to heal. And... I mean, we can beat them to it, it doesn't hurt us. Or we can just come down here, which might be the better move. But right now, we'll stay in the town for the healing. I don't know if they will get the upgraded units this turn. I'm still not convinced yet. I think buildings need to take precedent right now. A lot of corruption needs to be fixed. They're still sitting pretty. They're still trying to attract armies to attack them, which... Might mean it'd be better if we summon the general to stand behind. You know, just to look look innocently 
available to get attacked. Uh, the, the north west is a pain to get through. You guys. Okay, they can definitely reach next turn, so I don't need to march. They went back to protect. They're in ambush. Okay, let's see what buildings we can do. So, this is an income commandery for sure. So, no rush yet. I want to get these rushed. Oh, this is also income. Actually, I don't know if Delger is actually going to be income. I mean, there's a good amount of income here. I'm not saying there's no good income here. I think maybe it's better to use this as corruption reduction. We might net more income that way. We give up about 150 base industry, which comes out right now to quite a bit because we're getting additional 200, but normally it'd be 83%. Right, so we're giving up about 200 and change. But we're fixing corruption in all the neighboring commanderies. I feel like this is probably better right now. Yeah, it is actually better. Because it's not just this commandery, all the adjacent one also goes down by a bunch. So yeah, it was 22%, now it's 13%. That's what's happening here. We actually go up when we go down. Counterintuitive. Yunnan. Yunnan. Yunnan doesn't, I mean, border some, actually it does border, it borders Jiangyang to the north, it borders Jianning to the east. It goes down a little here, but here the corruption goes down way, okay, alright, I think that's worth it. Like, look at our corruption that's not being reduced. It's just really bad. Lopu is going to do wonders for... Jiaozhi, right? Went from like 52 to 57. Jiu Jin is also going to do wonders for Jiao Zhi. Can't rush that many things, so... There we go. Alright, we'll continue to pass on those. All the buildings have sort of been built. Rebellion next turn there. The reserves have bounced back a little bit in certain places, so that's better. I think we're good to go. Quick check of diplomacy. They're willing to peace out. 5.2. 35. We keep beating them down a little bit. We can get them there. Let's just keep going. Any officers? Clerk. Gout.
We did get one new strategist, I believe. Very old. Yeah, she can be a good administrator. She can be a good assignment character. She has some interesting unit that we maybe want. Like, this is not bad. That's going to go on one of our generals. Which one, though? What about my brother? Right, you don't need this book. Alright, we can't do the removal that way, so we're going to have to wait a turn. That's also going to help with corruption reduction. Let's continue. Alright, the Gongsunzan armies finally fell into the ambush. We don't need to night battle because right now the only reinforcement coming in is from the garrison. So that's excellent. Do we need to actually fight this? Not really. He's not capturable, which is fine. It's surprising how this army can't reinforce them. Alright, so they have come pick a fight. The three armies have combined forces to fight our Imperial Palace Cavalries. This was a fight that I kind of welcomed. I wanted to see how we can stand up against this three groups. They're all very beaten up. This is the healthiest one. Um, and if we do wipe out all three of these armies by Yuan Shao, he's pretty much ruined in the Northwest. Let's go. Alrighty, so we are fighting in the northwest. The terrain's beautiful. Uh, also a nice river running through it. We have some reinforcement coming from behind us. We are going to take a very liberal approach in terms of how we deploy. Uh, what I mean by that is... Well, first let's... Oh, we can put a couple of towers here. I don't want to put any wooden stakes on the map because it would just mess us up. Fire. Mm, I don't think we need that either. So the idea is we want to spread out, but we want to move things in groups of twos, or maybe even groups of threes. So if we like hotkey them and divide them up and make them into functional groups of threes, we can work with that. This can be a group of two, and this will be a separate one in our three generals. And uh, we just have to kite. It's a lot of kiting. Um, their main army is ready on the field. Uh, what do we do about this group? I'm going to take care of the reinforcement behind us first. We can even welcome them. I don't know how wide they're going to deploy. I'm going to welcome them like this. With our vanguard deployment. And then everyone else will come in. We don't have Heartseeker yet, but we do have a splash damage. He has Hail of Arrows. Hello, guys. Welcome to the desert. Very far from Hebei. You might notice less trees and more arrows. Lots and lots of arrows. Right past the enemy ambush. Right past Fremon. So new noble cavalries. The new melee cab getting absolutely shredded. 
in this grand ambush. Now, obviously, they do have a few range units, so we are going to have to go in and take care of those. Focus fire. Ooh, range block chance. Can't see that. Stop them. Cool. All right. That's where mobility come in. I'll pull back. And him. Alright, you roar, go ahead. Go hit him. Dash you the assassin. It didn't strike. <laughs> I don't think I hit him. I think. Or maybe I did. I don't know who should get credit for that one. Ah, warriors have yet absolutely shredded. Time to move out. Alright, reform. Reform our lines. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh, there's a few more units here. Let's get him out. Ignore them for now. I thought I'd clean up everyone. Maybe they haven't come onto the field yet. Or maybe as unit left, more units are coming onto the field. That might be possible too. But we gotta focus on this group. I need you to poison volley people. Let me borrow a group two. Come back. Shoot them down. I guess one can help them. One and two go help. You guys fill out this spot first. Not gonna duel. We're gonna duel with her. A little bit too late, a little bit too late. Or not. Steely, come fight me. Ooh. Good night. Back to the line. You guys don't need to go that far. Right, just spread out nice and even. Come back, take care of some of these melee calves, that's rather annoying. Swords out, charge. Maybe not you. She, we're fine. We're we're better cavalry than they are too. There, you intersect that one. And Suryam with the blue blade shouldn't lose anything. Try to stall that one. He ran. Alright, close in on the Frank flank. Frank flank. Alright, go for the big loop. Go get one of these units down. Two. He should just win that. Five, loop around, six, 
Group 2 or 5 is. 4 is taking on all the enemy cavalry right now, which I'm okay with. I don't want to deal with enemy range units and their spear units, but cavalry units are absolutely fine. Warm this around. Chase away the range units. Oh no! Wait, what happened? How did we lose? Just damage sustained? No way. Good night. Go, go pick on someone weak. Can we clean up? Okay, good job. Come back. Ooh, who lit the fire? Back off. Take care of that. Yeah, crisscross fire them. Bow your swords. Fight. Break their cavalry. Ah, too much microing. Just pull speed, distance, fire. Shred them. Surin has a morale issue. Very similar to what happened to Zhang Fei before, but I thought they fixed that. Pull them away. Pull them away. You guys don't have to run anymore, just shoot. Oh, uh, Defender of Earth with the bomb arrows, that's what happened. Alright, you guys are out of ammo, so go ahead, charge in. Shoot them from behind. You guys with ammo, back off. Fire at them. Charge over here, come back. Pull back. Fire over here. Avoid the fire. Help is on the way. Okay, they still have some units gathering up. Let's set up another line for them. Although it seems like they have given up. It's over. Alright, unfortunately Surin has a morale issue. We gotta try to fix this somehow. Maybe give her the bell or something. Alright, back-to-back heroic victories, not bad. We gotta shift the garlic to them very soon. Ooh. Alrighty, so he's joining a new coalition. Sima Yi has appeared in the world. wonder if the... Diplomatic values has changed after Yuan Shao lost three army in one turn. Negative 3.6, 3.0 because we haven't been fighting them for a little bit. We gotta keep pushing. We could get a few peace deal right now, but what's the point? Big rebel group, they got a silver weapon again. We should be able to just win the delegate. The strong retinue, elephants, tigers. Thank you. Now, we do have this army sailing in here, but they are going to go chase soon. First, we gotta clean them up.
Yeah, now if I isolate you. A much younger strategist. Now, are there any threats to any... Yeah, they're not even that threatening. So that should be fine. Go far. Ah, the army is coming. So, this is when they get the upgrade. Maybe we can save a little bit if I give them all items. He's an administrator. I guess we won't change that one. Uh, can we boost instinct? Yep, we can. Since he's an administrator, he's actually better off wearing that. Ooh, two levels in one battle. That duel did her a lot of good, even though she routed right after. About 30 less, that's how much we're saving. 30 times 18 units, 500 and change. Problem is how we keep these units healthy. It's so fun to play with them, but once they take a little bit of damage, it's like they gotta sit there forever. We gotta get more garlic. We gotta pass the garlic around. Alright, they should be able to hold back against them. They could appear anywhere, but... Oh, they do have a siege weapon. That's really annoying. Alright, we're going to be able to hit that, hit that. We can probably hit this this turn. I guess the two of them can go for the city and they actually no I want both of these so they can go for maybe the port first and come back down to the city they can take care of the city they can just keep going south take care of all these we can't reach them that's okay they did a good job where are you going Alright, Gongdu got units. Ma Teng has come over here, so he's going to be super annoying. We need to take Anding. Tian Shui will be left alone for now. We'll take this first. Hmm. I'm gonna believe. Eh, 
It's not too bad. This unit actually didn't take this, this unit took a lot of casualties. Ooh, I love these units. Okay, we're taking him. Alright, so with that battle. We can move a couple of the garlic over. Um, but this is pretty much good. Uh, we might lose the horse pasture to Matong. We might not. It's it's not a bad retinue. We could move three generals here and maybe just hold him. Which is something we might consider. Um, aside from that, Central Plains still needs a lot of movement. Uh, they came out, but uh, we still have these two armies running around. I gotta clean up all these small forces nearby. There's a bigger force on the north, but they disappear. So I don't know where they are. I gotta be careful. Um, they should be fine dealing with them. We are healing up nicely. Maybe they can hang on to the garlic for one more turn. We gotta fight them, which might be difficult since we don't actually have a siege weapon in this army. We just have crossbowmen. So that might get interesting. Maybe we can ambush them. Oh, that might be good. Ambush with crossbows? That will murder this group. Okay, we might try that. Yeah, and that's where we'll pick things back up next time. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and see you guys then. Bye!